we're Jacob and Denny, and we have arrived in Copenhagen. Yep, we're spending today getting a little bit of a uh, feel for the city. I'm gonna take a bit of a walking tour and see if we can find any good food on the way. So let's get started. So we are using Rick Steve's handy guide as a city walk around basically most of Copenhagen um, and we started here at the kind of town square area where City Hall is. This area used to be the walled city of Copenhagen. So Copenhagen used to be a walled city a long time ago but it didn't uh, allow for uh, a great prevention for diseases. Um, so the walls came down and now it's kind of just an area in the middle of town where they have concerts, uh, live events, obviously not during COVID. Um, and another downside to COVID happening right now is that the tower inside of City Hall, which is normally open, is closed to visitors. Right outside of City Hall is a statue of one of the most beloved figures in Copenhagen. And around Denmark is Hans Christian Andersen, who is a well-known author here, wrote The Little Mermaid and some other stories that you might have heard as a child, and his statue is overlooking Tivoli Gardens, which is a very well-known uh, amusement park here, and we are going to go check that out later this week, and it's one of the things that I'm looking forward to the most in Copenhagen. Um, so we'll keep going with our walking tour. Now we're on the Strayet, which is the main pedestrian uh, shopping kind of thoroughfare that spans pretty much the length of the city. And boy, it is crowded today. So the next stop on our walking tour is the Old Town Square and the New Town Square. So the Old Town Square has um, a very noteworthy fountain and a little kiosk set used to be uh, where phones were before you had a phone just in your house. And the new town square is where the old city hall used to be. And also somewhere it mentioned in the book that there was an old whipping post. Um, so harsh judgment from the new town square. So along the way of this busy pedestrian street off to the side is the Holy Ghost Church. Um, which is, has one of the oldest hospitals in Copenhagen. Um, not a hospital anymore, but was a hospital in the 12th century and one of the oldest buildings here in Copenhagen that's left. So, I was starting to get a little bit hungry just from, I mean, we walked around for what, like an hour now? So I'm starving. Um, but we saw one of the traditional or typical Danish fast food, kind of street food, things that you gotta get while you're here. And that is a hot dog, surprisingly enough. But this isn't just a normal hot dog. This is the way they, this is kind of the classic way they do it here. It is a hot dog, and then they put ketchup, mustard, a remoulade sauce, which is kind of under there, it's yellow. Uh, then they have fried onions, regular onions, and then topped with a layer of pickles. Uh, I am looking forward to this. First. Mm. So, first thing I notice when I bite into it, the Ooh, ah, there's, there's a, bee. a bee. There's a bee. <laughs> so we had to relocate uh, due to our little yellow friend who wanted a little bite of my hot dog. Sadly, we lost quite a bit of the layer of pickles in the move over here. Uh, but as I was saying, first thing I notice when I bite into it is just the snap of the skin on the hot dog. Um, I think it has a natural casing and you can just sense that right away. It gives it a nice little pop. Um, oh, but it is good. All the toppings just go together. I love the crunch from the onions and the remoulade sauce is kind of like a, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, like a kind of sweet sauce almost. Uh, but you got the, it's kind of like a sweetie tang, sweet tanginess, uh, but oh, it just goes so well together. So we are now 
crossed the bridge and came to Castle Island to see the former palace, so Christianburg Palace. And this is now home to Parliament, but was the palace and head of government here for a while. And underneath was the original castle in the 12th century, which is where in Copenhagen got its start. right here in the walkway. So we're now at Nyhavn. I think that's how you say it, maybe not, probably not. But it is the old sailor's quarters here in Copenhagen and it's pretty much the standard when you think of Copenhagen, this is the picture you think of. Um, there's lots of outdoor uh, dining and drinking areas and so we are going to go try to indulge in that ourselves. So I got our beer and just sitting along here is just wonderful. The ambiance is amazing. Just everyone kind of strolling around, eating out on the harbor. Just looking over the water and the boats, a little bit of music in the background. Um, it's real nice. And by just picking these up from a little kiosk, uh, we can take all that in without paying the crazy high prices that uh, some of the restaurants along here um, are selling for. Um, so we get the same ambience for like half the price. You really can't beat it. So right near the harbor is quite a beautiful sight to see. It is the King's New Square and there's lots of very fancy buildings and department stores around here. We won't be going to any of those because we're not that fancy of people. Um, but still really breathtaking to see all the fancy buildings, the beautiful gardens, and just a nice place to sit for a little bit and, you know, enjoy the sights of Copenhagen. A little bit further and almost the end of our walk is you can kind of see the harbor and one of the more noteworthy attractions on the harbor is the Opera House. It's supposed to be much bigger than it looks. It actually is 14 floors. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any uh, tickets to something at the Opera House. We looked, I don't know if there's anything going on right now, um, but if you get the chance, I would definitely take the opportunity to go. I'm just really, really loving the vibe of Copenhagen. It just, everything feels very mellow and relaxed. Everyone's outside, just kind of on their bikes, going for strolls, eating at outdoor cafes. It just, it doesn't seem rushed. It's very, there's almost a whole, at least historic area, is almost all pedestrian streets. So you don't have cars just flying by, um, most of the people around here get around by bikes on their day-to-day -day commute uh, and it just makes such a big difference in how the city feels of course now as I'm speaking you can hear a car right behind me um, but it I really really am enjoying it and I think we're gonna enjoy our week here so our last stop on our walking tour is the Little Mermaid statue which is pretty pretty common to see if you're looking for something to do in Copenhagen. Um, the statue is probably pretty close to life size, but you can walk right up to it on the water, which is pretty neat. Um, we also read that the statue had been through a lot in about a hundred years that it's been here in Copenhagen. It uh, lost its head twice and also was almost blown up by a drunk person. So this endured quite a bit. So maybe a symbol of the endurance of Denmark um, and Copenhagen. Um, but I think that 
and our walking tour here. It was a really nice way to kind of get our bearings of Copenhagen and really excited to get to explore everything more a little bit later this week. So watch those videos and they'll be coming out soon. Um, but thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. And But I think we're done for this evening. So good night.